Hello and welcome to another episode of Tom Plays. Now, today we're playing Uncharted 2. What's it called? Honor Among Thieves? I can't remember now. <laughs> Uncharted 2. I have played a little of this before on the PS3. Uh, we're playing the PS4 version from the Uncharted uh, collection this time. Um, but yeah, should be fun. Uh, you may have previously seen my last, or well, maybe not, last live stream on Uncharted. I did a bit of Uncharted 1. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. But uh, there was a lot of, like, uh, mowing down so many enemies over and over again. And, uh, yeah, um, it's got a bit tedious after a while. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this will have a little bit more, I think it has a bit more variety to the gameplay, but we're going to uh, resume now, get on, get on with it. Uh, actually, um, yeah, we know we're just going to go. But before we do that, we've got to put the old audio through the the headphones, aren't we? Uh, right, well, we'll get there in a moment. There we go. What a predicament. So we can move Drakey Boy around here. Oh. Oh. Oh, so. Are we going this way? Maybe we go the other way. Quite a, quite a iconic opening. I do remember this um, pretty well. Oh look, we can go around this side. Lovely. Okay. Now what? Oh, yeah. are, we, are we meant to jump up this bit? It looks looks like we could might have to jump up this bit. No. Oh yeah, okay. We're slowly getting to grips with it. Okay. Pretty epic stuff. I think a lot of you probably have played Uncharted 2. It's it's uh, been around a heck of a long time now. It's okay. It's okay. But if you haven't, you know, um, you enjoy experiencing uh, at least the beginning of Uncharted 2 along with myself today for this live stream. As we try... Hold the direction. Try and... Uh, Oh, there we go. Try and scale this train here. What mess has uh, Nathan Drake got himself into this time? It's. I really do like how Naughty Dog um, introduced um, the controls in a in a tutorial that actually feels integrated into the you know the story of the game the tutorial becomes a set piece which is much better than putting you in some sort of VR room and um, 
doing some sort of forced video game like tutorial it really takes you out of the experience where as you want Uncharted is such a cinematic sort of game that it wants to feel as much of a, a sort of a movie as it does a game I guess so and I saw a similar thing with um, The Last of Us Part 2 actually how the tutorial was uh, woven into the beginning of that game it was rather effective. What I'm really liking about this is you get right into it. No long exposition. Uh, just you start playing the game. Which uh, I'm really a fan of. Buy me a drink, sailor. Oh, who's this chap? Hey, Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh -oh. oh, all right, mate. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. Oh, a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? Yeah? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. What's nice about this is you don't Three, really actually. need to have played the right. first one, do you? Speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Oh, have you, mate? Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. Hi, Nanda. It's nice worthless. to hear from you. How are you doing? I don't get it. Been a while. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. As you can see, I'm playing, uh, like or as you've read, I'm playing Uncharted 2 today. Just a little bit of that. Time and money on his hands. And by the um, way, this is not worth anything. And I swear I have done this beginning section before on and the PS3 more. game, but I never got really that's any further, so maybe I'll get a bit further with it today. Where'd you get this? Oh, oh good to hear, good to hear. From the files of the nutcase. <laughs> Glad you're well. In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. <laughs> Unfortunately, the rest They of were great for the time. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great but yeah, we really just show how far we've come, you know, so compared to something like Last of Us 2. And, uh, about the lost fleet. yeah, I know, it, it does show its me. age. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey but he never told what happened to all those ships uh, no camera today because uh, I've got so, plugged into so the uh, there, the PS5 and I forgot that it wasn't plugged into the found. PS4 yeah, which is what I'm playing this on today so. look at this lamp it's covered in Mongolian script it must have been a gift from Kublai Khan the light of the great Khan shelters Shelter the fate of the 13. 13 Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp hmm. something that pinpoints the site 
of the lost fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Oh, what could possibly go wrong? This, exactly. Yeah, that's a nice little setup. I like it. It's short and to the point. Yeah, I, I would like more games to be as direct as this in their uh, narrative. I see something uh, shimmering over here, so I'm going to go and check it out. Put some treasure. Yeah, how did uh, Nathan Drake get into this mess? I'm sure we'll uh, find out. It's really intuitive um, regarding where you need to go because not for a moment then did I have to think about oh where am I meant to to go to next it was it's all very um, straightforward well I say that now I am wandering around trying to work out where to go What's that? Oh yeah, okay. I had the right idea. Oh, can we jump over them? Yep. Oh, ammo. I see I'm gonna have to shoot something soon. Oh yeah. Of course it's locked. So if I know anything about uh, video games. Oh you shoot the lock. Okay, one, one casualty down, Arm yeah. One guy down. Nathan started on his uh, killing spree. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more enemies uh, <laughs> to murder in this game. Was that this way? No, I was... Okay, I think we need to go up this way. With these sort of fixed camera angles, it does remind me a lot of Resident Evil. Just a little bit more uh, active action. It's just not his day, is it? More exposition, I, I imagine now. Hello. Uh, <coughs> oh, nice, so Nanda. Yeah, fun, I've eh? been uh, playing Sonic Colors what the Ultimate. Hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah. You might have warned me. And missed yeah, I think it, it plays well. I've had a good time with it. I did anyway, play it on the you haven't exactly Wii made yourself originally. And, uh, easy to find. I think it uh, seems like a oh, good sort of remaster. 
I know I've heard <laughs> some things about though. the game when After it was first all, launched, some bugs and jealous. such, especially on the Switch, but makes you feel any better. My relationship I was Flint playing it on the um, really? Mostly. Xbox no. Series S, actually, when and I, uh, out, I had no, no problems with it. Yeah, been enjoying it. want to be in on the action. So oh no, sorry to hear that. What are you playing it on? Just like we said. The we PlayStation? The or? On the Switch? Ah, right, right. okay, yeah. Version. I have heard one, things one. about the Switch and then, version. And then we split the take Not being quite as uh, good as the others, unfortunately. Disappear. Which is a shame because Together, Switch would be, a, in theory, a great platform then, for it to he can't know about be us. on. I, I'd prefer to have He's it on Switch if it was as solid as it should be. Gonna be fine. Trust me. Well, I hope your uh, experience uh, improves. Uh, I think they're still patching the game, are they? Or have they... Uh, I think they recently... It was recently patched. All versions. But it sounds like the Switch needs uh, special attention. Okay, that was not the thing to do. Okay, it looked like I was meant to go this way. Okay, I feel like I should be leaping over to there, yeah? Well, there we go, I just didn't leap well enough, I guess. Gee, he's a bit of a daredevil, isn't he, this Nathan Drake? Oh, cool. Yeah, I, you know, I never actually completed it on the um, Wii. Which is unusual, because I usually finish Sonic games. So, yeah, good stuff. Ah. I do think Sonic Colors is very good. I think my favourite of the recent Sonic games, though, has got to be Generations. I just thought that had everything. Um, so it improved on a few things uh, in Sonic Colors and just had all that sort of nostalgia as well, didn't it? Replaying the older levels, revisiting them in 3D. Um, yeah, I thought Generations was probably my favourite 3D Sonic game. Right, he's got the dagger. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so it's a solid adventure game. I think it's the go-to, isn't it? If you, if you want to recommend maybe an adventure type title, Uncharted is is the series uh, to go to. Either, either this or um, Tomb Raider. I, I think uh, the recent Tomb Raider games have been very good. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. So it's very well made. It's just with the first one, I just felt like um, the majority of the gameplay was shooting people. Uh, and, you know, that, that I mean, that's a video game thing, shooting people, but it just got a bit dull after a while. This way.
So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. If I recall, there's a bit of stealth yeah, I'm, uh, uh, in this part of the game. You cocky bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I thought it would be a good one to stream. Because um, the majority of games I play are probably fighting or racing games. Um, and those aren't usually strong on story. So I thought, well, if I'm streaming something, Uncharted... Seems like a I'll good one to at the stream. Just make sure you get because there's a story to follow. Fair enough. All right, enough Which chat. I'm talking all over, so. Let's do this. <laughs> Chloe. See you on the other side. It's like National Treasure. They're stealing something Looking from a museum. There you go. I get the feeling the Uncharted sure you know um, film that's coming out will will feel like one of the uh, National Treasure films, Don't you love the way the water which, you know, I like a good sort of adventure like film like that, Indiana oh. Jones, or, you know, globe trotting and it's like the, good old days, that, isn't it? the heist yeah. element is kind of fun too, again? putting the clues together. Oh. Okay, I think I am going up here. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Yeah, so there's this film coming out, isn't there, with uh, Tom Holland in and Mark Wahlberg. So Tom Holland's playing a young un um, Nathan Drake. Oh, wait. This can't be right. I think it's out wrong pretty, pretty soon, actually. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. So yeah, I mean, um, Tom Holland's really good, isn't he? In the Spider-Man films, I'm sure. It's a bit different, obviously, being a younger version of the character, but I Thanks. suppose it'll be like uh, young Indiana Jones or whatever type thing. But yeah, it should be good. Uh, there. You ready? No guts, no glory. No video game adaptations don't always work out, but the uh, the Sonic movie turned out pretty good, I thought. I actually quite like the Tomb Raider films. We're good. And I know the uh, Mario live action was very different from the games, but for me, uh, I still find it enjoyable. It's a fun film. You know, if you f forget it's based on Mario. But <laughs> what am I meant to be holding here? Hold? Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Ah. Okay. Okay, Nando, well, thanks for dropping by. It's great to hear from yeah. you. Thanks uh, for uh, staying subscribed. Uh, I know there hasn't yeah, been a lot of content uh, on the channel. Well, a lot of Bruno's boxes. Um, but in terms of video game stuff, yeah, I'd really like to try and get a, a bit All more right. the uh, the up court, there. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, thanks well, for sticking around. Well, not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shut-off valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it, then. Nope. 
There's a shutoff valve somewhere, apparently. There's definitely a button to press somewhere around here. Oh, there, oh, there it is. You got it. It definitely is a lot more to this than the original Uncharted. <laughs> it's not just shooting dudes. I'm just going to drop the uh, in-game volumes down a bit. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? That's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Oh, wait! There's an alarm. Oh, that's nuisance last time. Uh, great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. It's got to be around here somewhere. The junction box, okay. find so why don't you follow the conduit oh that's a good idea that made me feel very stupid having to ask for a hint there but All right, we're in. Shit. I got him. To exit, co press stealth attack. Do a lot of them in Last of Us. There's the tower. Yeah, but we can only get to it from the roof, and we can't get to the roof from here. We're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard. 
through that gate over there. Well, let's do it. Get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. This is fun. I would say so far it's more interesting than um, Uncharted One. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we'll get him. <laughs> I mean, could you consider the the th first three Uncharted games retro now? Maybe. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Ah, oh, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. Where does this one go then? It goes 
up into that box and then it goes up and then down and then I can't really see where it goes next other than go up again do we have to go all the way back up there Not quite sure. a hint is that my hint okay yeah Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Right. It's very dark, isn't it? <sighs> oh. Okay, so you can't get caught. That's good to know. Pardon me. Right, okay. Subdued. Oh, we were so close. Okay. <sighs> Try again. Damn it. Oh, I've got to be a bit more stealthy than this, haven't I? I can't just rush through, but... Oh, that's close. Hmm. 
what should we do here then? I think this is probably the right way to go. I'm just going to hang here. There's a big spotlight there. Well, that wasn't very stealthy. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Wow, this is dark, isn't it? Follow this dude. Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns, totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? You know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. Bu kutular ya bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Shit. Oh right, do it stealth stealthily still. Yep. Alright, let's take these guys out. Bunlar ne ki zaten? Eski sergiden kap. Yep, nice. Yeah. We gotta get up to that walkway. Let's go down. Okay, for something with wheels, this is very heavy. There, that'll work. Now all we need is a horse. A horse, oh, horse and cart, yeah. Those rafters will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Right, okay, now what? Ah, lovely. Oh, yours. Hey, a lad, you got it. Come on. Alright. Right. I think I'm going to take the 
elevator next time. I feel like I could do with like a torch or something. Did he say the rafters? close do I have to jump diagonally yeah no ah, here we are making some good progress aren't we down here all right there's the tower getting closer Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. Where did he go off to? Over there. Right. Oh, I see. I hope this dude isn't going to betray me that something seems a little bit like something could go wrong. Below me. Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. Yeah, this is sort of the perfect template for a James Bond game, and uh, didn't Quantum Solace sort of replicate and chart it with the, at least with the um some of the game mechanics yeah was it quite with all no no it was um blood blood bloodstone i think that was called bloodstone. Certainly not blood, uh, blood, <laughs> blood diamond. That was the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio film, wasn't it? I'm really not sure if I'm going the right way.
Senin burada olmaman lazım. Oh, I got him. I got him before the uh, Shit. He used the radio. Get closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. That's my girl. So <laughs> I probably not okay. developed the hiccups. I did a live stream once where I was hiccuping throughout most of it. That was uh, that was not great. Ladies first. <laughs> Cute. Here we go. It is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. The gravy boat. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. Is that really a good idea in here? And? Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships ah, are very clever. By a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look. This mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shemvala. The curse of the Chintamani. <gasps> Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Oh well, that was obvious he was going to uh, betray us. Only you overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do? Shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Shit! You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Uh, uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Cheeky bugger. Damn it, Flynn. Hey, man, did you study Kapatan? Kapatan, you Kapatan! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, now I'm screwed. What? Is the wrong way?
Got no gun. Oh, hey. Oh. So close. It's so far. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? Hey, hey, hey. It's Jack Sully. Hatch, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, uh, a friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Mm. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani Stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. She's a regular Lara Shibata Croft, isn't she? The precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani Stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay, i see I see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or that can be arranged 
Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Morning, yo. You reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Cool. Okay. okay. Chapter Let's three, Borneo. And this seems like a good place to leave it for now. Uh, thank you so much for taking time to, to watch the video. If you've watched all the way to the end, uh, very much appreciated. Uh, if you'd like to see me play more of Uncharted 2 or any other Uncharted games, let me know. Or if you want me to play something completely different, uh, then yeah, just drop a comment below. Thanks again for watching. Uh, until I see you again, goodbye and game on.